Hey guys, John the Spike here, back again once again, and today we are back with another Pokemon Violet video, so let's hop on into it. This is Jacques. Hey, Mr. Jacques. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and the other schools. And would you believe it, Jerome? Your name was on the ones chosen to attend. You get to go study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get it's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this is kind of but this chance isn't likely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon! Alright, well, we're already here, so... Oh! You are new! Mr. Jock said to wait for this... Said the students for the school trip would be around here. Okay, so you're who I need to talk to. Hmm... Are you...? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Jerome? Jerome, huh? Well, aren't you full of fire? Positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources that that sort of thing is common as a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on. And I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Briar. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Jerome. What a lucky scamp you are getting to take part in the school trip so soon after transferring here. I'm sure happy for you. I wish I could go too. <clears throat> huh? Oh, sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jacques so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region. W what? In the Unova region? That's interesting. Okay, we haven't heard from any characters in Unova for, for quite a while. You know, Miss Briar helps set the curriculum there. This year's Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rusty, rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomena has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself between my supervising duties. So I also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, uh, yes, well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Cloudell. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust I'll get a favorable response soon. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, Jerome. I forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyways, the school trip, think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app. If you get your phone out, Alright, the key to Kami Pokedex has been added to our Pokedex app. Nice. And there we go. All done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find around Key Takami too. Oh, and don't worry about the permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. You just go and have fun. Your Mr. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Jerome. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying. Or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? Alright, well... I guess we're already getting started, so... Let's set out for the land of Kitakami. Are you ready to set out for Kitakami Trail? Yes, I am. Great, we'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you are all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time that you meet. I know my role is to shop around you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own. While I'm at it, just so you are aware. By the way, do you know if the Violet Bo- Why are you asking- no, 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 this is weird. One, why are you asking about the Violet Book? Two, does she know the implications of what the Violet Book was supposed to be used for? Because the Violet Book unlocks Area Zero, and she wants to go down to Area Zero. She's suspicious already. That is very suspicious. Because the Violet Book was locked away into Professor's lab. And we couldn't get in there until Arvin opened it up. Because he had the key. And then, the well, did he take the Violet Book? I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Professor Turo took the Violet Book into the future so no one can mess with the time machine. It's weird that she's asking for the Violet Book. This is already suspicious. I know it. No point in lying, but... As you should! It was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the phenomenal. Paranormal. The author of the Violet Book, Heath, was a in fact an ancient ancestor of mine. Oh, okay. I even have his original manuscript. Okay, so I, maybe that's just Turo's ver own version of it that he used as a key. Okay. I thought there was only one. Alright. Oh, she, she actually has one. Just whipped it out like nothing. Okay. Look here. These are the passages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Huh. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. I have tentatively named this creature Terrapagos. I suspect its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that he the Heath allegedly encountered when he delved further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. 
It's my dream to find Terapicos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though, I haven't been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. Okay. But that's fine. It's all fine. All I need to do is now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was going to be actual, like, other students, but no, it's just background characters. Alright. Miss Briar, we ready to go. Looks like the gang's all here. Bro, you, you, you telling me that these three are the other ones who got in? Okay. I, I thought we would at least have some new characters coming along, like, oh, maybe they're... You know what? Never mind. Let's just, let's just continue. Alright, everyone. To the land of Kitsukami. I knew that she said it's probably going to be students that we haven't seen before, but like, I really didn't expect it to be whole background characters. Is that a Dragonite? That's a gosh dang Dragonite flying next to it. That's cool. We're finally here! My butt is killing me after those hours of sitting. First the plane, then that bus? <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. Th there's four of us. How, how would anybody get lost? Then, welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences leading and, le and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Yan Mega Whooper? Actually, it's my first time here, too. Why, the rice fields are really just dazzling. Up ahead is Mosui Town. That'll be our base of operations during the trip. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness, hmm. Why don't we pause here for a moment and take a sight of these fields? Now, Jerome, I have a little request of you. Could you run ahead to, to the community center in the Musui and let the caretaker know that we are here? It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. Alright, I'm on it. I knew I would be able to count on you. On your way then. I'll look after the poor travel buddy over here. Alright. So we are officially in a new region. Oh, we can't ride and ride on them. Use the L and R buttons to switch between the maps. Okay. It looks like this area is kind of like an inverse of Paldea. Kind of like how you have area zero and then over there you have a mountain in Kitakami. All right. Um, let's see what we have here. So that's the map. No. All right. There's all different kinds of Pokemon here too. What was the button for it? Oh, Puchiana. Alright. Oh, 57. Okay, they are they are high here. I want our first Pokemon that we catch to be a native of Kitakami, so. 
like a new Pokemon. I hope that there are new Pokemon here though. Oh, there we go. Bulldoze. Alright. Since we can't ride Maridon around here, at least not yet, I'm going to stick close to the path and just see what items I can pick up until we get to Mosui Town. It's a bunch of Yon Mega, Spinarax. Oh wait, what? Oh, there's a core fish in the water. That's actually really cool. I'm seeing a lot of Gen 3 Pokemon here though. Okay. So, so far we have Cutie Fly, Poochiena, Wooper, Spinarak, and Yanmega, right? I think those are the only ones that we've seen. And Corefish. Hey, grab that. Go ahead and grab this. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> are we already going to fall out of bounds? We haven't even been here for five minutes and we're already break <laughs> breaking this. Oh, jeez. Okay. Last thing we want is to fall out of the world or break something. Let's just make our way to the town. Jeez. Alright. Oh, we also have Suwaddle, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so she said that we needed to go to the town's community center. Oh, so it must be that area directly ahead of us then. Sis, look! There! There's one now! So, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool! Hush, Kyrian. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Mosui Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Come on, sis. You just want to battle. Making this big fuss over nothing. I told you to hush, Kiki. Just ignore my little brother. Aw, oh, man. Alright then, let's do this. Get in position. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to have some real good fun with you. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Trauma. Oh, Poochiana. Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. Alright, let's go with Play Rough. Uh, oh! You know about the tight matchups, huh? Vulpix? Nah. I'm, I'm confident that Meow's Garada can probably sweep. Oh, let's go with Foul Play. Ooh, Will-O-Wisp. Oh! Avoided it, nice. Foul 
play. Poach? What? Poachergeist? What is Poachergeist? I've never heard of that Pokemon, but I'm confident that Meowth can deal with it. What is that? Is that like an evolution from Poltergeist? Or is it like an original variant? Like how. Huh. I'm assuming it's original variant, like how Wiglet was original variant of Piglet. Anyways. If it's anything like Pulte guys, it should be similar to a ghost type, so foul play should be the best move here. Yep. You went and beat my sis? I, I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. Fine. I guess you pass. Barely. Seems like I got no choice. I'll let you into town. But only if you become one of my grunts. And do every little thing I... Oi! What are you doing causing a ruckus? Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But, but I... Wait up, sis. <laughs> Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from the Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here, mostly. And a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during our visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Nah. I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially that Carmine. Always been a handful. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. What's that? A, a member of your group fell ill? Down by the bus stop? I better get over there and give them a hand so they can make it into town. I'll take care of everything. You go on and get yourself set up in the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. Alright, so... Head into the community center. I want to check around Musui Town first. Cause there's like so many items in these rice fields. It's just like it's not even funny. Like nest ball, struggle bug. Oh, we can ride on right on now. Okay. Like, this is just an insane amount of items. An insane amount of items. Alright. Amnesia. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. Oh, is this the Pokemon Center? That is not the button to put away my right on. There we go. Oh, she's new. Hey, 
Hey there, this is the Pokemon Center. Are your Pokemon tired of needing a rest? Sure, I like to heal my Pokemon. Okay, I'll take them here for a sec. Miascarada and the rest of your team should be all better now. Come back whenever you need. Alright. Well, let's head inside the community center. This way, everyone. Jerome, I owe you for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying for a while. You're here to keep the kami. The plan was to have you students from the Blue Better Academy stay here together. But it turns out the space is going to be for all of our visitors from Uva Academy. Oh right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So in you come, don't be shy. Come on, everyone. Pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can just leave them on. Leave them in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to stomp the worst of the mud using the washing station by the door. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built. So it's a good, as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. Here's the lounge where you can watch TV and chat or relax however you like. And well, let's see, over here there is the cafeteria and toilets will be down that way. Well, you want to get some sleep? Please use the rooms down the hall there. We've got enough space that each of you can have your private room to yourself. So, I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't hesitate to talk to your fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. Alright, kids. Do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? Thanks for having us. What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell that you're going to be wonderful visitors. So just think of this as a place, as your own home for away from home, and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner and then call it a night? We've got plenty of, we have plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center, but remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. Alright, uh, let's see what's all over here. The food here seems to be really healthy. It was still really tasty too. conference room. We probably won't be using this. Alright. Did you enjoy the taste of our local Kitakami fare? I wonder what's scheduled for tomorrow. I'm so excited. I don't think I can sleep. Welcome, dear Paldean student. We provide a special service for visitors here at Kitakami Community Center. If you opened your bag, 
and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of the, your screen in some menus now changes, depending on your location. Do you want to change the settings for the upper and lower borders on your menus? Uh, leave them alone. Okay, I hope you enjoy sightseeing around Kitakami with your current settings. My bag? Oh, that is cool. I like that. I actually didn't know that they were different. Okay. Um. The Blueberry students will join us tomorrow. I hope you get along. Alright. Uh, I checked out my room and there was a bug Pokemon in there. Ready to call it a night? Sure, let's go ahead and call it a night. Morning everyone, did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all of you outsiders. I, I mean, visitors from Paltea. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kyrian. Carmine and Kyrian are actually going up here. So, ask them for help if you need anything. And you two had better be real help, you hear me? Aye, aye. Uh, right. Now that that's settled, why don't you tell all- Why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have you split up into two pairs. Then each pair will be tasked in fighting three signboards. Located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove that you completed the task, we ask that you each pair that each pair take a snapshot in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. To take a photo together, take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Learn all about its rich history. Much more than sitting around and listening to me ramble on, eh? Wonderful! What an innovative idea for the group activity! Oh, and I've got just the gift for each of you as well. A roto stick? What is a roto stick? A stick to rest your rotom phone on. It allows you to take selfies from a bit farther away than you could on your own. Oh, okay. I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you take these, those photos. I'll even teach you a rad pose I came up with on my own. The Eureka emote from the caretaker, all right. Ah, yes. Real... rad. Remember that one of our goals for this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs. Okay, time to mingle. Alright, so, talk to the kids from the other school. Alright. Oh man. You're Jerome or whatever, right? Let me guess, you want to pair up with one of us, poor lonely blueberry students. Yeah, you summed it up right. 
gosh, it's so sweet for you to go out of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, sis, what are you telling him for that for, dummy? Hey, who are you calling dummy? If you know what's good for you... Oh man... Huh. Look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up a nerve to ask him himself. But he really liked to battle you. Sure thing. Well, what do you know? Turns out you're sort of nice. This will make my brother really happy. Shut up, Kiki. Jerome says he'll battle you. What? 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 Wowzers! You really? You? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everyone else, clear up and make some space. I, I got this. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Kiri. I can't believe this. I get to battle you. So awesome. Alright. Um. Let's start off with. Yes, Flower Tree. on your side. About to send Yanma. We'll keep up Miyasarada. Let's go with Play Rough. Look at this Yanma, bust those wings! What the? Super effective. It's only level 60. I was almost 10 levels ahead of him. How did that? Bitter Blade. <clears throat> Bitter Blade. I probably should have switched, to be honest. <laughs> I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. Well, he did do better than his sister did. He actually took out one of my Pokemon. My strongest one, for that fact. Jeez. Good show! Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Well, wowzers! You sure are strong, Jerome. You really are half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair with Kiki then. What? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or you happen to partner up with some other rando outsider instead of Jerome. Well, no, but. Oh man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. 
I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. Watch out for my little bro, you. <clears throat> Looks like you've all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs, or the like, head over that way and stop by Peachy's. They'll be happy to set you right. Uh, um, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard in Loyalty Plaza. That's past the pole, that's past our apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, so I figured it might um, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in the way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you. From a safe distance, of course. Alright, take a selfie of the first signboard. So let's go ahead and make our way over. Uh, question is, where is the signboard? Because I know he ran off in this direction, but. Gosh dang it, I keep on pressing the wrong button. Let's get Mariah on out here. I'm genuinely trying to figure out where he went. That's that's the bus stop where we came from. So that leads outside. Oh, okay. That's Loyalty Plaza. Okay. Let me go check out that route that we came from first though. Because it seems like it just cuts off, and it's very rare for a map in Pokemon to have a main road that just cuts off. Normally it's like water or something, or it stops, but this just cuts off. Most likely it's gonna have some text like, oh, you can't go back this way or something. Oh, they literally just put like a huge freaking invisible wall here. Oh, Ex excuse me. No way. No way that breaks the game. Just jumping at this wall from a certain angle just breaks the game, okay. Um, so now that we know we can break the game, let's, um, not break the game anymore. So, we need to head there. Dang it, I keep on forgetting that that's not the button for the of items. Alright. Ooh, there's a cave here. Let me grab these items and then we'll check it out. Oh, there's a mighty Anna here. No, 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 don't kill the mighty Anna. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, so I should be just have to do that. All right. Let's go check out this cave. Oh, oh, okay. 
this just Geodude Tunnel? Are, are they really going to guard this item? It was just a revive, jeez. Alright. Let's go ahead and make our way back over to Musui Town. I take a shortcut and just up. Oh. I did not see that. Okay. These small Pokemon are just. Are, they, they are small. They are very, very small and hard to see. Should just be able to take a shortcut up through here. Oh, who are these guys? Oh, the positive energy is just positively flowing. Just, I just love to buy up all the key to come here. Thus, my dearest Onier, even while out at the boonies, your idea is still purely metropolitan. I do appreciate your willingness to speak the truth, Billy. So, my dearest Onier, however shall we waste our time and our money today? How indeed! Billy, look! A commoner! They're staring at us! Eh? A commoner? Why yes, our eyes do not deceive you. That there is most certainly a commoner. As I live and breathe, a commoner, a living, breathing commoner. Whatever do we do, Billy? Is it bad manners to ask to shake their hand? Is it acceptable to ask for an autograph? Collect yourself, dear Onair. No need to rush. Look, this commoner isn't going anywhere. My apologies. It's not every day that I come face to face with a commoner, you see. Naturally, you're the president of Paldea Reality, after all. What? <laughs> Excuse me, yes, you, commoner. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a duel with your Pokemon? If you can defeat me, I'll grant you riches beyond your wildest imagination. There it is, Onera's favorite pastime. Throwing the common folk a bone. <laughs> Please, come at me once you're ready, dear commoner. She said commoner like 25 times. Will you duel me for riches beyond your wildest imagination? Sure. I, Onir, the president of Paldea Reality, will crush you, commoner. I, I feel like her Pokemon are like, significantly weak. Like, insanely weak by how many times she called us commoner. <laughs> Go get him, Onir. You're challenged by Onair of the Glitterati? The Glitterati? What? Okay, this, 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 this is crazy. Alright. A Persian, alright. Let's go ahead and go play rough.
another flavor I should check out. That's all she had was a Persian? So this is the power of the common folk. 17 Rand? That, that's a good bit. You really are something. A commoner. A cut above the rest. Hui <laughs> hui. Not even a defeat can eclipse your beauty, Onera. Now, listen to me, commoner. The most important thing about money is how to use it. Spend that reward on something meaningful, an investment in yourself. That way, you'll continue to sparkle, even when your money's gone. Come now, dear Billy. I think I'd quite like to go see that waterfall in Paldea. Phew, we've only just arrived in Kitakami, yet we're already returning home. You really are an exemplary glitterati. Well, that was a weird encounter. And that is the wrong button. Grab, grab the item. Alright. A sweet apple. Okay. Well, we should be able to make- oh! They have a whole apple orchard. Okay, so it's not really too weird that they- well, I know he said that they had an apple orchard, but I didn't expect there to be an apple all the way down there. Apple and juice. Um, any other items around here? They, they really do have a freaking huge app over tree. That's a, is that an Ekans? Alright, um... Bellsprout, Starly... Alright. Another Starly. I haven't seen anything new though. Besides for that um one Pokemon that Carmine used. Alright. So this is the way to Loyalty Plaza. Alright. So this is Loyalty Plaza, but where's the sign that we're supposed to be taking the picture in front of? Is this it? Did I pass it? No way I passed him. Rotom phone apps. Hey, I'm a traveling app developer. I see you've got a rotom phone. Here, let me add a snazzy little new feature for you. Your rotom phone has been upgraded. Match your phone case. The upper and lower frames are compatible apps you can set to match your phone case. You have on your rotom phone. Give it a whirl. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Technology really is incredible. Alright, so how do I set this? Oh, so this sets automatically. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird having like that little gray. But I do like the phone case because it's cool. It's cool, but like that gray is weird. 
Anyways. Is this it? That's the first signboard. Uh, so sorry, did, did I startle you? I did mention that I hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read that signboard, right? Oh, I already know the whole story, so go ahead. You should check it out. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made his home in the mountains, behind the village, frightening all who ventured here. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okidoki, Mukidori, and Fezemp... Fezemp... Fezan DPT, gosh, it is a hard one to say. All happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and sent it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon the title of this brave trio, the Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial and the statue of the three who were erected above the site. The Loyal Three Monument is right over there. But don't you think the ochre and the folktales sounds kind of cool? Well, it came down and like started attacking people. Like, you really think it sounded cool? Like, it might be cool, but like, I don't know. Come on, it was all alone. The battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold its own. That's way cool. Oh, but I guess most people would think an ogre is like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times at night, all on my own. And I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. Could you? Sure thing. Alright, so that's the first signboard. That turned out great! You're even good at taking photos! Do you want to try? Oh, no! I, I, I didn't mean... Maybe, maybe next time. You know, I didn't want to have to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature, around my hometown, and talk to you, Jerome. <laughs> hey, if you want, maybe we can set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Oh. He said the S word. Ah, what is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? A kaiju? This is my ride, it's called Maridon. It's called Maridon? And you ride on it? Huh? I've never seen a Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? I never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Jerome. You're... you're special. 
So, the next, er, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Uh, Kitakami Hall is... Well, first, double back from town from here. Then, this bridge you cross, and from there, you need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now, and meet you there later. <sighs> Alright. So we got our Sophie at the first signboard. And we learned about the legend and we, well, first of all, made it to Kitakami. So I think that's a good place to end it there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.